Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are not a subscriber yet, please hit the button to subscribe and hit the, the bell so that you know when I post some new videos. Okay, today my video is mainly about some tips and some ideas for this autumn winter uh, 2021. I, I get into some very heavy questions when it comes to my style every season and how it should change and what should how can i adapt to what should i add to my wardrobe so whenever the season changes my main conversations with my friend mainly one friend i have that i have these conversations with uh, is what is the best thing to buy now what's the thing that can add something to my wardrobe or to my style or just make everything look better pathetic isn't it yeah, well, that's up my conversation with my best friend. We just talk about clothes, things to buy, jewelries, and uh, yeah, it's pathetic. <laughs> and shopping, and yeah, anyway. So, and while having that conversation with her, I was thinking, yes, maybe it is time for me to make a video where I can discuss more of the details around what you can buy this season. And some things that actually I focus on is to buy an item that will be a classic, uh, a staple in your wardrobe, something that you can wear this year and next year and just style it differently and it will still look amazing. So, one of the things that when I'm looking in the shops, one of the things that keep coming every single year is the tweed jacket, is the crazy tweed jacket. And I realized I don't have any tweed jacket. Why didn't I buy that before? So today, I'm mentioning the tweed jacket first. The tweed jacket for me reminds me mainly of Chanel. So I'm not gonna go buy a Chanel tweed jacket for 10,000 pounds. I'm just going to buy something that is great quality that I can keep in my wardrobe for a few years. And also that is, when it comes to the look on the style, it looks closer to the high-end brands. So if you are here trying to get ideas, from high street brands you better change the channel i'm not going to talk about high street brands first of all i am all about sustaining my wardrobe which actually makes it way less expensive to invest in your wardrobe and also um just good for the environment you know um so yeah i am sharing here about some brands that are cheaper than the high-end brands that we know about but they are good quality, they are designer brands, and you can get a good value for your money. That's my main purpose. So we're starting with the tweed jacket, as I said. Um, I'm going to pop here a few pictures of what I'm talking about so that you have an idea of the price and what the jacket looks like. So here you have the first jacket that I think would be really good buy is the self-portrait one this is a good price jacket the color is classic doesn't fade doesn't go out of style um i'm talking about 400 pounds i mean it is affordable if we compare it to other brands like uh chanel like balma these brands where it starts at 2000 pounds um 400 literally will save you money which is what i think personally it will save you money in a, in a in a in a way that you will buy it today but you can wear it for the next few years three four years still it's not gonna go out of style and think about how many you would have bought from zara this next one is from this brand called Tagliatori, Tagliator, something like that. I think it's Italian, so I'm gonna call it Tagliatori. Um, I should have done my research before, but anyway. This brand I discovered on Farfetch. Great brand, great prices. Um, so this jacket is at the price of 476 pound. 476, for me, it's actually good. Even if it's a reduced price from 600 pounds. It is quite good. I still find it good to buy something at £600. It is still good quality, it is still good style, it, the, the details and the fitting, it's so different. So 
once you start wearing these kind of clothes, you completely forget about the high street brands because that's just rubbish. Anyway, I'm showing you here more colors from the brand. Actually, I think it's just amazing the selection of tweed jackets they have. Another brand here, I'm putting here another picture. This one is a light blue mixed with white and the brand is called B plus AB. B plus AB. So this is a brand also I discovered on Farfetch. It is in, so the price is between 300 and 500. Maybe never gets to 500, maybe 400. Anyway, but it is cheaper than Tagliatori. It is cheaper than Self-Portrait. But it gives you really good style of jackets, tweed jackets. So this one is light blue, which I think is a good color for a transitional uh, season, like where what we are having now before fall, full autumn. Um, this is another the same brand A. It's same brand B plus A B. <laughs> I need to remember it. B plus A B. Uh, in another color, this is a pink, and I think pink is. So 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 feminine this pink this blush pink is so amazing it's the same price 295 uh, I mean 93 uh, great great value for the price I think okay um, next thing uh, this one is actually a tweed jacket from Tagliatori but then it takes me directly to the next style or the next items I want to talk to you about is the double-breasted uh, blazer so this is a double-breasted blazer in tweed but they also have um, other colors other fabrics in the, in this kind of blazers uh, the price is around 634 and I think it's also still a good price this is the classic Bauman jacket that we see everywhere. Everyone is wearing it. I think it's still a good purchase because it's still a classic, you know, even though it's... Oh, we get so overwhelmed with watching it on social media, everyone is wearing it. But I think I would still buy it. It just makes the, the, the outfit classier, you know, more, you know, formal. Uh, I'm not going to buy the uh, Bauman one because it starts at £1,500. At that, at that price, I will rather go buy a Dior um, shirt or something. Uh, so yeah, we will um, we will rather buy the Tagliatore. Tagliatore, it feels like a good brand for this kind of jacket, the classic fits ones, you know, uh, that you can keep in your in your wardrobe for years. Uh, another item that I think is absolutely a must-have and I don't think it's going anywhere it was trendy at first and now it's becoming a classic because we have seen it go in for about three years now it's the, the the chunky boots those big chunky boots we've seen it with Bottega Veneta with Prada I like that for one reason because it's very practical in winter I live in London and it's quite hard to like find a pair of boots that keeps your feet away from the floor so that you don't feel the cold the chunky boots is a good solution so there are a few brands here that i think if you want to invest in these boots uh these brands are brands that you can keep in your wardrobe for the next few years i don't think that the chunky boots are going anywhere they're coming back again this winter and this brand is called First brand, everyone knows about this brand because it was all over the social media. It's called Ghani. You can see here, this is my favorite color, the green one. Oh, I love it. It just, you would think that it would not go with anything. Actually, it goes with everything. Uh, shorts, leggings, sometimes with dresses. I've seen people wearing it with dresses. It looks really good. So that's a good price. It starts at 215 pounds. And that actually... A very good price because you know that these boots are gonna last for long not like if you buy it from Zara um, they get worn out very quickly if you buy it from Zara so these ones are good there is the green one which is the classic one which is I think the classic one maybe there are other colors that can be classic but I like that green and also because for this winter green is very trendy so if you get that green then you can wear it more this year and also next year it still looks good because it's a bit of a 
if a darker green, you know? Uh, another thing in the collection in Ghani, this year they put in out these two-toned uh, kind of boots. So you can see it here. Two-toned kind of boots, which looks like a bit of contrast. <laughs> I find my words. I've been talking a lot, I'm not used to talk that much. Oh. Yeah, so two-toned. Uh, I like the brown and the black here. It looks really good. Very practical for winter if it's raining. Uh, I like also uh, the price tag. It's actually cheaper than the green one. So yeah, there is that one. Also, if you are talking about boots um, and the chunky boots, there is this other brand called Gia Borghini. Gia Borghini, I've seen also people wearing it a lot on Instagram and on social media, but I still think it's a good brand and a good investment. I'm putting here some colors so that you have an idea of what it looks like and the, 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 the colors are out there. Uh, also on Fairfetch, I'm putting all this in a link uh, in the bottom of the, in the description of this video so you can still click on it and just take it directly to the items um, uh, next one we're gonna keep looking into these boots that are a bit oh how can I call it comfy for winter like if you live in London like me or in a very cold country that is very practical during winter this one here let's say it is not a classic but it is something that looks very settled when you wear it. It is, how can I call it? Yeah, it's just, it's a bit, it's trendy, but it's not very flashy. That's what I mean. So I like these boots here also from Gia Borghini. I'm putting it here. This is a black color. I like it in black because you can wear it every single day. Uh, it is a bit, it has a look uh that it's similar to the boots uh by louis vuitton that they made last year it is trendy this year i've seen it everywhere and seen it at prada i've seen it at some other brands that have copied the louis vuitton boots um gia this brand gia borghini has the best price tag that i've seen online till now 384 um if you want to invest um 384 let's say 400 pounds on these boots it will be good investment but then I don't think it's a classic but I just thought maybe it could be good for this season so I wanted to add it here to add it here for myself I would buy it to wear it now for autumn because it's quite trendy but then if it goes out of trend I will still be wearing it to travel to uh, go do my grocery shopping to do just regular stuff on an everyday basis because they are very comfortable. They look like the Uggs, but they are um, a bit more sophisticated, a bit, a bit different, yeah. Uh, also about the boots, we're gonna keep talking about boots. This is the last item I'm gonna talk to you about. The boots, the boots, the boots in winter. It's very classic, it's very simple. This brand for me, represents the classic style with a bit with a small touch of trend it's called paris texas i'm sure everyone knows it uh so i'm putting the boots here on the picture in the description here you can see the price tag it's between 400 600 pounds um i'm putting two colors here the green uh, no the gray and the brown one i think the gray is a good color because it's velvety it looks classic you can wear it at night and you can wear it during the day too a gray is the closest to black you can wear it with everything and then you have the brown um like it's it's a crocodile embossed i don't know what's embossed anyway but it looks like a cro crocodile skin as a brand i think it's a really good brand i uh, been seeing it everywhere um i have tried the boots once in Harrods and I found it very comfortable so that's why I'm putting it here today um, also the price tag is around 500 pounds which is totally a good price for that kind of boots um, having a pair of boots that you can wear and you can match with every outfit is very important um, so you don't have to go buy very expensive ones as we know, if for example you go to Louboutin to get the one uh, black 
foods, it will start, the price will start at £1,200, knowing that Louboutin is not the most comfortable shoes. These are the items I wanted to share with you. I think personally that if you have some classic items that you can mix, mix and match in your wardrobe, you don't have to invest that much in buying expensive stuff, you know? Just get the simple things um, that fit in your wardrobe with everything else that you have. Get simple colors, black, gray, brown, uh, cream, and just keep, keep, keep styling them with everything that you have. Um, this is my main advice. Get one expensive item, not very expensive, but actually expensive enough to be sustainable in your wardrobe, to be sustainable as uh, a quality when it comes to the quality of the item and keep it in your wardrobe forever because you don't need to follow the trend. Uh, and here you go. I hope this video helps you. I hope this video replies to your question and also helps you start investing in proper items in your wardrobe without breaking the bank. Um, if you like it, please um, give a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give us a thumb down because I like to know exactly what you liked or what you didn't like. And also follow me if you haven't followed me yet. I'll see you soon and I'll talk to you soon and have a great week.